What up, Les Bros and Les Bays? Karchi here. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Today I am going to be doing a DIY project. I know it has been forever since I filmed anything, and I apologize, and we'll talk about that while we're DIYing. But first, we're gonna go to the store. Leg out. Okay, so what we're making today is we're making concrete uh, candle holders as well as making the wax candles that are going to live in said candle holders. We're also going to be experimenting with candle making and like making different colors and I got some specific candle molds that aren't for the concrete. Also, I already have a blood blister if you can see that. So that's a really good start. Um, I haven't vlogged inside stores because I don't vlog inside stores because I'm terrified of it so never ask me to do it. Okay, thanks. So I went to Lowe's. I picked up a ton of concrete stuff and everything I need tool wise and like a breathing mask and all the awesome stuff. And then I went, cause I'm a genius, to the dollar store and got concrete mixing bowls and candle holders and different shapes for the concrete. So that's gonna be dope. And then my last stop was Joanne Fabric, um, which is like right down the street from my house. I should have started there because they don't have candle fucking making supplies. Are you goddamn kidding me? So I just called Michaels. I'm looking out my back window cause I am sitting in a parking lot. Uh, so I just called Michael's, um, okay, the kid that parked next to me just left and he came up and made me fucking nervous. I don't like vlogging in public. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Um, anyway, so I just called Michael's and they have all the candle making supplies I need, so I'll go there. Great, easy, except that it's 20 minutes away and in LA that means 40. <sighs> it's gonna be a long day, y'all. It's already five o'clock, got an early start to my life and day and all the great things. And uh, hey, at least I'm back. <laughs> We're back in my house. We have all the ingredients we need to make the concrete candle holders as well as <sighs> ugh, the candles themselves. Uh, this is paraffin wax. I could only find it in blocks. I couldn't find it in chips, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. I'll chop it up myself fucking dike it up all right first obviously we're going to start with the concrete because we need the concrete holders to be uh ready to pour the other shit into it so first things first take off all your jewelry we're going to wear gloves because concrete is shitty to get on your skin and we're also going to be wearing a respirator uh i know it's not going to look fucking great but concrete is horrible to get into your lungs so sorry not sorry anyway i'll probably voice over this entire thing because it's going to be a lot of shit going on i want to apologize for not making videos lately i got into a weird headspace and a bunch of things were happening in my life and i don't want to go into it but i am back and better than ever and ready to fucking rock it and we're starting off with a diy which i never do maybe a drunk diy we'll see how far this gets I've made concrete things before in the past. Um, I have never made concrete candle holders. I'm pretty excited to try this. Uh, I think it'll be a really fun experience and experiment. Uh, we're gonna do some coloring. Um, this is concrete coloring. I saw that you could use latex paint, um, but that shit's expensive, bitch. So is the coloring, but it'll last forever. All right, let's do it. So here I am putting on my face mask and gloves, and oh, don't I look fabulous, right? and trying desperately to open this can. Oh, got it, nailed it, crushed it. And, oh, I'm gonna scoop this into the bowl, but then, uh, then I remembered, uh, you have to lubricate the stuff before you pour concrete into it, Croce. And then I realized, oh, I really have not separated these at all or taken the stickers off, so negative five points for me. So yeah, that's uh, coconut oil, lubricate that shit up. I uh, tried to wipe it down a little bit, that didn't work, so I stopped doing that. Now we pour the concrete mix in. It's, uh, it's roughly one part liquid to five parts concrete. Stir that shit up. Keep stirring. At this point, I had made the perfect consistency, but then decided I hadn't, so then I kept scooping concrete and pouring a bunch of other stuff into it. It took way longer than it should have. Uh, finally, I get to a dece consistency, put some coloring in it, realize the consistency is not that great, and uh, pour some more water. And now it's ready to scoop it into the cup and 
don't forget to charge your camera battery because uh, the rest of these are going to be not part of your viewing pleasure and I'm super sorry. That's right, my camera died. Okay, so my camera died last night and I could not find another battery. Um, we're on day two of this situation. Uh, you saw the first mold I made. I'm going to walk you through the other ones. Here is the second one. I forgot to fill the rest in with stones. So basically, you pull these out, boom, mold. Uh, this is the third one. It's kind of got cool coloring. Um, I didn't experiment too much with coloring, just of the cement. I read up on it a lot and it just was like, you, it's very difficult to color uh, unless you buy latex paint, one that I didn't do. So now we're gonna get on to the candle making. Okay, this part I've never done before and I'm fucking stoked. And you can probably tell that I've never done this before, but keep watching anyway. So this looks like soap. It's not. It's wax. It's hella hard to chop. I know I make it look super easy with my giant muscles, but goddamn, that shit is tough. I was all sweaty by the end of this. Okay, now we're gonna watch some wax melt. That's uh, what you all came here for, right? Yeah, I know it. Crushed it. Don't worry, I won't make you watch every time the wax melts. This whole process in total took me about four hours, so... <sighs> this video is long enough, and uh, yeah. So now we put the coloring in the wax. I was just testing out the colors. This is an orange, but it actually ended up quite pink because the wax itself is white, so it adds that to the coloring. You can see it on the right side of the screen in those molds we fast forwarded. Uh, now I'm trying to now I'm trying to add scent to this candle with an air freshener and when I sprayed it, <laughs> it got the wax everywhere. So then I decided to put the scent in this other weird fucking container and then I poured it into the wax. Now hopefully uh, it smells as lavender fresh when I burn it uh, as it did in my kitchen adding some blue coloring to this. Now this blue color ended up being my personal favorite color. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then pour it right into that mold, which uh, is the only thing that redeemed that mold because it's a tragedy. So what I'm doing there is you put a little wax down before you put the wick down and stick the wick to that wax so that it sticks up straight and doesn't kind of float around and when you pour the candle in and then here's a cool thing where I just taped two straws together and then made them hold the it actually worked incredibly well made them hold the wick so that it also stayed straight in the candle it's the only straight thing in this video It's crazy watching this how much the wax looks like it's just water and it's not this like incredibly <laughs> hot, dangerous liquid that I'm dealing with. Um, but I was like terrified the entire time that I was just going to burn my whole hand off, which would be horrible for my sex life if I had one. Here I get the brilliant idea to crush up some crayons and throw them into the wax. Uh, I read about this as a possible way to dye uh, candle wax. Uh, obviously they are also wax. Um, for some reason I went gold and yellow, which was bold, I guess. Um, and it looks like a weird mustard soup uh, with ice cubes right now, and I'm sorry for that because it's kind of triggering. So yeah, give that mustard soup a good stir once it's all melted. Now here I am putting the wick on again. As you'll see, I like to kind of top it after I bottom it. That's a real term from candle making. I didn't just make that up. And then you strap it on. And once it's cooled down a little, you decide that uh, blue and gold were your high school colors. So it's a great idea to put those in one candle because they won't look horrible in the end, as you won't see. Oh uh, yeah, I pour all the wax into a measuring cup for good measure. 
Oh, here I am spraying it. Now this one is scented with the most masculine cologne I have ever smelled in my life. It's from Empire. Empire has their own cologne and it, it seriously, one spray of it and like a whole room will transform into just like a CrossFit gym. <laughs> it is so fucking manly. There's no, there's not, a, not even John Cena is manly enough to wear that cologne. Uh, so it's in a candle because that's actually what really genuinely inspired this video. I was like, I need to do something with this free cologne. I'm gonna put it in a candle. <laughs> All right, now we're making blood red. Here I am, finally, I'm making the pride candle. Um, Roy G. Biv, although there's no Biv, I just combined it into just purple, so Roy G. Pit. Roy G. Bip. Um, red bottom layer, and then I was like, you know what, let's fuck with this candle and make it look like a sand art piece that you do in third grade. In retrospect, obviously, I did not think about the fact that I can never burn these candles or else they'll turn into like this brown wax substance, uh, but that's okay, they're decorative, obviously, unlike the other ones. <laughs> Here I am making orange from the red, I'm just putting some yellow into it and waiting till I get that perfect orange color. Now the star candle, that's the rainbow candle, is in the freezer so that that wax um, completely hardens before I pour on the next layer. Boom. Pour on that sexy, sexy orange layer. Let it cool. Pop that shit back in the freezer. Oh yeah, that rainbow tape is from my mom uh, for Christmas. Thanks, mom. And then I made yellow, which is just yellow food coloring. Uh, I used a food dye that is um, not water-based. If I used a water-based dye, that would not have worked with the wax. Again, I know the wax doesn't look hella dangerous, but it super is, okay? Don't judge me. Onto the green layer, add some extra, pour it into my other guy really chugging along here. Look how fast this looks. It looks like this didn't take me two days. And now we're on to my favorite color uh, of this entire batch, which was the blue. Again, the, the white paraffin wax makes it just this beautiful blue pop. It looks like Windex right now, but wait till that shit hardens. Boom. Looks beautiful, right? I'm right. All right, and now we have the purple, which was actually the hardest. I added red to the blue, and that kind of wasn't working, so I added a crayon, which also kind of didn't work. It's a very, very dark purple. Um, I added a white crayon even to make it try to try to make it lighter. It just it, we just weren't getting along, and it's fine. And there you have it. Thank you for tuning into my DIY day. Uh, I had ton of fun. This was a blast to do. Uh, if I could redo it, I would probably not mess with the cement so much. I think out of the cement ones, this little guy is my favorite, um, just because it looks like a like a converted brick, which is I think is super cool. Um, this one is also really cool, but only <laughs> only because of the rocks and the three candles in it. Outside, it does genuinely look like a water bottle, and then this one. Uh, while it looks like a super cool like kind of pool on the top, the bottom looks like a soda bottle even though I use sparkling water. <laughs> um, so I don't love it, but I think it's still pretty cool. And then obviously out of the other candles, the pride one is my favorite. I'm so stoked. I saved this for last because I wanted to kind of get the feel of how to do things. Um, this one's cool. I wish I did it kind of opposite colors so it would look more like a latte or something. Um, blue and gold are my high school colors though, so it's kind of a shout out. Or were. I'm not in high school anymore, if you can't tell. And uh, this one I made to look like a sand, one of those sand sculptures, which I think will be really cool, but I uh, did not think about the fact that when it burns down, it's gonna look like total trash. Uh, just like I look right now, I was sweating all day. It was so hot in my kitchen. Um, but again, I had a total blast. And um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys try these out, uh, send me pictures of them on Twitter or Instagram. 
Um, and let me know in the comments what your favorite candle was. Obviously, I think that the Pride one's gonna win. I'm so impressed <laughs> with how this turned out. I'm so stoked. Um, and also, let me know if you like the DIYs. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing them. So if, if uh, you guys are into it and I'm into it, maybe we could do it together a little more, you know what I'm saying? I do have mad respect for DIYers now, though, because this took me two full days of filming. And it was, it was grueling and intense, but it was pretty great. <laughs> All right. Bye.